decision based on war. I wanted to be free, nothing holds me. Hi everyone, my name is Tatiana Moroz and I'm here with my friend Julia Taransky and we're at the Hedgeable event here in New York City. Uh, we were able to link up right before Julia goes back after a long worldwide tour. Right? Long trip. Okay, yeah. so where have you been going to lately? I spent some time in London, uh, I did the exhibit when I was there. I'm on the other things, like occupying the Jade building with the Dark Horse. the Vegas conference and now I'm in New York where I went to the Liberty event actually and you always find new points of deal along the way so I'm happy to go home tonight actually I'm very tired. Okay. So how do we end up here tonight? Julia randomly invited me here. We were going to link up at the studio because the other day we had a really nice conversation about music but unfortunately we didn't do that next time because we had the opportunity to come here. So where, what are we doing here? We're at the um, British consulate. I, I ran into uh, Trace Mayer, my friend, who's actually starting a podcast which she wants to interview me for. Excellent. to talk about and to tell me more. So, yeah, it actually came full circle because that's what we're discussing at the Liberty event. Um, actually, my next project is I'm working with a musician called Jesse Stewart. And he just blew up a huge uh, viral on YouTube for a beer song and narrator. And he's just so talented. And I really want him to start accepting Bitcoin and Deutsche Coin donations and get the community maybe into uh, the music scene and then have it feed back into the Bitcoin community. So if people like his music and he talks about Bitcoin or sings about Bitcoin or mentions taking a donation, it might spread the word in a way that we haven't been able to so far. Yeah, that's definitely something that I've been researching. Um, I had a really cool meeting with the, just, I think that the music industry is only starting to see the potential. I mean, it's, we're not even, you know, close to, to even starting, but I think that those conversations that are happening are really exciting. Um, and it was fun to talk with you about it, so I can't wait to hear your artist or her. Yeah, you have to fuse, you have to fuse art and tech. And actually, Amir Taki says programming is art, so Bitcoin is art, technology is art, and we need to merge those worlds because then it becomes well rounded and uh, the, the barrier to entry falls away. Right. I agree with that. I think that, uh, you know, engaging people in a passionate way in something that's a little creative, I think, appeals to a different kind of person. Yeah. You have an art background, right? Yeah, I went to school for visual arts and I've been painting since I was 10. Okay, yeah. right. so maybe a painting or two in the works. I'll see. That's I the hope so. I'd love to do one. Yeah. Awesome. Well, listen, Julia, thanks so much for talking with us. It sounds like we're about to get started. Uh, where can people find out more about you? Uh, bravetheworld.com and harass me at bravetheworld on Twitter. Okay, great. And um, Tatiana Rose, tatianarose.com. Thanks, everyone. See you later. Take away the money, don't give up your money, use Bitcoin whenever you pay.